Uh, one of the big issues that I have at the moment comes from parents who speak to me and say that they feel that their son isn't getting the opportunities, or their daughter isn't getting the opportunities in the cricket levels that they play with some of the teams they're in um, because the coaches can't identify whether the, those players are good or not. And I think this is part of an issue we have in English cricket in particular and probably some other countries as well. I'll come on to that uh, in a second. But, but specifically English cricket because we, we do like to tick boxes and write things out and put them in nice compartments. And unfortunately, if that's what you do as a coach, if you put things in little squares, you then have a player who is totally different or comes in from a low base and, and goes up the ladder very quickly. What do you do with them? Because if you have a pecking order or some traffic light system or you put people uh, you know, in this sort of stepped process, it doesn't allow for someone with flair or flamboyancy who learns fast. Um, the second thing is it also totally makes the coach devoid of being able to make an informed decision on what they see in front of them. Uh, if I saw somebody hit six cricket balls, I could tell you whether they're a decent player or not, just by the way they hit it. Um, any sensible professional coach should be able to do that. The same somebody runs up and bowls a ball and it swings, bounces, does whatever it does. You can see the pace of it, you can see the shape of it. You should be able to see within half a dozen deliveries whether somebody can bowl or not. You look at their action and, and see it as well. Um, uh, English cricket is, is poor at that, extremely poor. Uh, by contrast, I'm currently uh, in India spending time with one of the Ranji Trophy teams a first class side. What happens here in India is there'll be people here without any statistics or background who come to nets, they come up and bowl and bat and you make a decision on what you see with those guys. You do a bit of work with them and some of those guys go on and play first class cricket within a month or so or two months. You know, um, This is why in Pakistan, India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, people seem to come from nowhere pretty much because they do sometimes. You know, They are given the chance because there isn't a system that says you can't be special or you can't be different or you have to fit in to this box. So um, English cricket is very organised but actually I think part of the problem and the frustration for a lot of parents whose kids I work with is that um, the English coaches are, are very poor at identifying talent correctly because they just base it on statistics from the year before and hey you may not have statistics from the year before. And then secondly, once you're in that framework and system, um, those players are then how they develop. They're just, you know, if you're fifth in the list, you've got to wait for the top four to, to go through before you go through. So I, I think at the moment we, we are fundamentally flawed in our coaching. And, and for me, you know, running an independent cricket academy, I see a lot of parents who are upset by that. And I'm, I'm hoping that at some stage English cricket will, will sort itself out.